Hey everybody, welcome to the 1804 Show, Chapter 2. I'm your host, Dollar Will, and this is Episode 5. Yeah, we back, baby. And just to let y'all know, I never left. I never gave up. And just a lot of people just was wondering where I've been. You know, I've been handling business. And that's one thing I'm about. I'm about my business. We just go continue on doing what we do. And doing what I love to do. So. So we just chilling. So we got a special guest coming on. My homeboy from South, homeboy from that high. You know, I've been knowing this guy for a long time. And you know, quite frankly, I just love to, you know, bring people on the show that know me, know me and stuff, you know, and it's just unfortunate things that's be going on just with the mental health, man. And a lot of people wondering, like, you know, why he titled his topic like that. But it's the truth. We are on our own when it comes to our feelings, our mental health, we are on our own because a lot of people act like we don't have feelings. A lot of people act like that we don't exist. A lot of people act like we're robots, that we don't feel anything, but we do. And a lot of times, you know, a lot of people don't want to acknowledge it, don't even want to admit it, but it's the truth. You know, how long can a person be strong? How long can a person withhold or withheld their demons? And it's just time that, you know, a lot of us just admit that we really don't be there for our friends and family as we should. It's always about us. It's always about, you know, well, my problems are bigger, so. But let me bring him in. Hot. Yo. What's up, hey, man? Yo. The hour. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. No, nah, I ain't gonna do all that. What's good? <laughs> yeah, I can hear you. <laughs> nothing. Nothing, bro, man. Welcome to the show, man. I appreciate that. Thank you for having me. Man, I got to, man. So uh, I got to get the best and the brightest on here. No, nah, we ain't got to do all that. Uh, let me know if uh, uh, my audio is um, efficient enough. If it ain't breaking anything, and I don't want to, I don't want to have a bad interview due to a, a technical uh, interference. So just let me know uh, whenever we need to take a break, or just make sure that the audio just stay on point. That's all. Oh, you good, man? I'll let you know. So yeah, what's good, man? Nothing, man. You know, I wanted to, you know, bring you on here and talk about this because this doesn't really get talked about a lot. You know, as as amongst us, as men, you know, because cause I know like a lot of times it's just people just act like, you know, what we post and what we do in our professions and stuff like that, that a lot of us don't have substance. A lot of us don't have a story. A lot of us haven't been through anything. So I wanted to bring you on here and, you know, pick out your brand a little bit. <laughs> okay. Um, 
No, quickly, just to retort a few things that you just said, I believe we all have a story. I believe we all have a purpose. And I believe we all have a responsibility to figure out what that purpose is before we pass on to the our next um, um, location, our next our next being. You know, I think we all have a purpose here on Earth, and um, if we all have a purpose, I think that um, we all matter. But now you go ahead, continue though. No, that was good stuff, man. That was a good rebuttal. <laughs> but yeah, you know, I just was explaining to people that, you know, I've been knowing you for years. You know, I've been knowing you since South Middle School, Arctic, you know, well, Saginaw High, because I, I don't know if you went to the Hill, because I went to the Hill, but two, no, but no, no. I've been knowing you from the high and everything like that. Yeah, and just... a long time, <laughs> a long time, man. Yeah, and, we went to um, yeah, we went to South eighth grade, and uh, we went to Arthur Hill. I went to Arthur Hill my ninth grade year, and uh, yeah, Saginaw okay. High. Yeah, we went, to, we went to Saginaw Public Schools together. I don't remember having too many classes with you, but I do remember you uh, fairly well, especially at South. You can continue. Yeah, yeah, because you was always singing, man, and and that's like <laughs> one of the. You know, the main things I remember about you was that, you know, you was very talented. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. <clears throat> so, you, so you still have the gift, man, or are you just, you I know, focus gift. on your media? Nah, well, all right, quickly, I'll give a brief rundown on uh, <laughs> what's going on. Uh, View Me TV, of, like you said, is it's a blend of the gift or the music plus the I don't know how to stay relevant or how to come popular in a certain field. So using that knowledge that I possess, you know, that's View Me TV. But to answer your question, yeah, I still can sing. Do I sing? No, I don't. I don't sing professionally, anything like that. But yeah, I still can. I can carry a note still. Yeah, that's what's up, man. You know, I I just was wondering because, you know, I haven't, you know, spoken to you in a while. So I'm just trying to get a little bit of everything, you know, you know, mainly touch on the subject, but mainly, you know, talking about you, you know, because you're the guest of the hour, man. So I ain't even going to ask you, like, how, you, you know, where you grew up because I, I assume here, but. I'm going to pretty much ask you like about your upbringing and, you know, family life and, you know, structure and stuff like that. Well, actually I was born, <clears throat> born here in Texas. I live in Texas currently. Um, I moved to Saginaw back in 93 and, um, yeah, pretty much. I, I say, Especially going to school in Buena Vista very early on. Uh, Buena Vista is probably known to me as like a family knitted uh, neighborhood or a family knitted, you know, group or whatnot. You know, even with the guys uh, over from BV, if you ever been around them, you realize like most of them, they carry themselves like brothers, true brothers or whatnot, you know. And um, I, I gained a lot going through uh, the university schools very early on. And then I, I transitioned over to uh, public schools, which gave me a, a, a wider outlook on the city of Saginaw because it was more kids from the city of Saginaw and, you know, city schools. Uh, yeah. I don't know what else you have wanted within that uh, question. But yeah, that's, <laughs> that's what I have. Oh, man, you good, man. I'm really enjoying this, man, because it just, you know, a lot of people really doesn't get the opportunity of getting to know people like that. So I'm learning all about, you know, the, the man right now. So it's all good. Yeah. All right, the man. But no, I think it's our responsibility to get to know each other if we want to. You know, we have we have time, I believe. Uh, we have access, um, which is the internet. 
we just had to have the will to get to know each other. You know, no pun intended, being a name, being Will. Yeah, you have to have the will <laughs> to really want to get to know yeah. someone, you know. Like you said, uh, we, 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 we schooled together, but we never hung, you know, you see what I'm saying? We, we got the same education or we're supposed to get the same education, um, but we never spent time outside of school or like even in between school, like um, lunchtime, recess, you know, that area. Um, I think especially, well, for uh, it was a lot of grouping, you know, we had groups of people who are already probably went to school together to get um kids popular kids you had uh yeah i don't think the high too much had like the quote-unquote nerdy kids you might have the out the out the box kids but not too much nerdy but people group with who they was familiar with but to to uh if you want to get to know somebody i think yeah you know, that will has to be within yourself to get to know someone yeah i agree bro and just back then and everything and how you are now, like where you feel like you're a different person now from back then? Nah, I believe, nah, I'm the same. I I believe you can use a few words, uh, maturity, growth. Um, the more common word people are using is, you know, but I believe all those words coincide with one another. Um, I just, I'm the same person. I just mature. I learn, you know, I continue to learn. I'm continue to mature. I'm continue to grow by uh, just going through life and the trials and errors in life and adjusting to those um, errors. And uh, just trying to be, uh, I tell myself, I'm never in a competition with anyone but myself. I'm trying to uh, beat my old self and uh, trying to continue to evolve. Yeah, that's dope, man. You know, like I said, I, you know, respect you and appreciate you, all your success, man, that appreciate you that. contribute. Because that's, I know that's not easy of uh, getting into the media game and doing all that editing and stuff and just showing love, man, because you show love to a lot of, you know, local artists, you know, you, you know, even though that you have moved to Texas, you know, you still put you know, Saginaw, you know, first. So I respect that. Uh, it's uh, for me, it's very easy. You know, I've, like I said, I've been doing this for a nice while and I have to shorten it time it takes me to do things so I can be more efficient and, and have a higher pace of doing more things. So to me, it's very easy. Like, uh, like the top 10 list I dropped um, this morning. I did that last <laughs> night within an hour of me getting on a plane, getting on a plane, on a plane, you know, just I knew I had a lot of time just in between like, riding the plane. And uh, in my mind, I've always had uh, England or understanding who I feel with, because it's, you know, my list, my opinion of who I feel is the top 10. Um, I already had England who it is. So it basically was go download videos and, and find the best part that looked fit to artists correctly and just put it together and uh just really and and to go back to what you said about media like the way you joined media was very uh easy you see what i'm saying you found a moment within a, a a crisis where you had time to sit down and a lot of more people were being interactive with visuals on a, you know facebook and facebook live and things like that so joining media is very easy uh in part can be the uh, the, the the hiccup. It can be the part where it might take you a while to adjust to networking, get to try to be with multiple people, getting around multiple different people to help grow, you know, your platform or to grow my platform and things of that such. But I've I've I never really been like a talker talker, even though I was like quote unquote loud or silly or um yeah, I never was a talker, you know. I found a way to keep people entertained by doing, you know, some gifts, my gift, I guess. But I never was um, a talker, so I find it at times to be difficult to network, you know. You know, when you get to someone else who's a very people person, and it's very easy for them to network, you know. It's very easy for them to grow their network because of they could speak to, you know, people. 
Yeah. And I totally understand that because, you know, I was never much of a talker. So I had to step out my comfort zone a lot. So mm -hmm. it just was very um, rewarding because this is what I set out to do. And I really didn't right. think that I was going to get the response that I got in, but I'm glad because a lot of people right. got the chance to, to really, you know, see me in action, you know, as far as right. my charisma, how I carry myself and, you know, just, you know, making sure that, you know, our stories get across from each other because you just never know who's watching and who you inspire and who you motivate um, every day. Uh, Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, I, big ups to you for uh, be willing to do what you do, you know, and you're doing a um, doing a great job doing it thus far. And like I tell everybody, just only the beginning, you know, this platform or this uh, podcast go as far as you want to take it. You know, the the biggest thing I tell everyone uh, with anything is consistency. You know, the more consistent you are, the higher. Um, the chances or the higher the reward could possibly be because you're consistent at what you do. No doubt, no doubt, man. And and it's and here's the thing, bro. Like, you know, we just been losing a lot of classmates uh, recently, and yeah. just Have been we? crazy. I mean, I mean, I, I'm sorry. Uh, you have to, I don't want to go through names, but no, I haven't, I haven't felt like we're losing classmates per se. Now, have we been losing a lot of people within the city? Yes, you know, and uh, to kind of go back to the original thought of this whole conversation about mental health, uh, we have to understand what mental health is in, in order for us to take care of mental health. Um, Second of High wasn't a bad school, but it was trauma there, you know, and a lot of people are just understanding what trauma is, you know, <laughs> sadly to say. Yeah. Uh, but I know, you right? know, people were going through going through shit. Like I, I may I give an example. Uh, a person got shot at the high, you know, during school. And I can remember like it was yesterday, we had lunch and Somebody got shot and they overextended lunch and then they sent us home for the day. We went back at school the next day. <laughs> because <laughs> it's a it's yeah. a no, seriously, it's but it's the normalcy of that's what goes on in the city of Saginaw. That's what goes on. That's the culture the the uh, urban city um has become or is. And but that's trauma, you know, that's a uh that's a quote unquote big ordeal, you know, but we we find the ways to cope through it. We don't even probably too much talk about um, the negative because culturally as a people, we have been through worse, you know. Um, these days we are, and in my opinion, I feel like we are spoiled, you know, due to multiple um, access, or resources we have to do what we want versus what was what was there 200 300 years ago um but go back to mental health oh we have to be willing to want to talk to each other about mental health and understanding what mental health truly is oh no oh absolutely man because even me you know i went through um PTSD and I had it for years you know a lot of people doesn't know what it is and the people who know what it is they think you can only get that from war but you can get that from pretty much any traumatic experience and when I tell you bro like I used to be like in my head for hours like don't even know what happened but it just I would be just at work or something, you know, saying so I still do my job, but my mind will be mm -hmm. elsewhere. And and I and I tell people that 
it's that's a very dangerous condition to have because you can hurt not only somebody else but you can hurt yourself and by the grace of god man i was happy and lucky enough to come out of that because i don't wish that on nobody that's and and it's just also just with um you know yesterday just remembering all the losses that i took you know i always try to keep people you know alive and stuff because they live through my work man my brother my grandmothers my cousins and my stepfather they all live through me you know whatever i do every day because i had to you know sit through them funerals with some of them but i had to sit there and just you know people that i grew up with and from my childhood and stuff like that they no longer here so i just cherish every moment that i spent with them and whatever that they taught me but it just got me to the point where you know i just wanted to do something remarkable for our people and just you know focus on saginaw first because obviously you know negativity outweigh you know the positive so i just try to i disagree you know, make... I, I disagree okay <clears throat> i feel like we make whatever we want to make you know if you want to allow the negativity to outweigh the positive that's on you you know it's in your thinking it's your mindset you know um you have to find ways to avoid things you have to find ways to not find yourself in things that pull from you, you know. I always tell people, you know, you shouldn't be around negative. Negative is truly what the word is. It takes away, you know, anything that's being taken away from you, in my opinion, should be deemed not good. You know, why would you want to hold on to something that does you no good? You know, that does you no service. So, you know, the positivity can easily I'll wear the negative if you choose to think that way, if that's your mindset, you know. Um, I love Saginaw. I love Saginaw because Saginaw ain't never did shit to me. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? I found the niche very, <laughs> very, 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 yeah, very, very early on that I learned how to live within, within Saginaw. Like this music thing I've been doing, uh, this quote-unquote music thing, uh, since early 2000, you know, little um, little to no one know, I hopped on a song with AG, you know, AG cut my hair briefly uh, for a brief time. He was like, you know, come to the studio, record this song. You know? And I was like back in like 03, 04 ish. And um, I've worked with um, multiple music acts within Saginaw. And I, I've seen um the sound of hip-hop i should start saying hip-hop hip-hop in r&b somewhat but hip-hop grow where it went from all industry music at parties to now nah, we got local acts kind of dominate the parties versus you know just all mainstream which is dope you know especially in Saginaw, where you can have people from the city come around and perform within the city and uh to briefly go list that's why you have a high placement for a person like HBK Boom, because I've seen him uh, perform in front of his peers in Rock Out, you know, and um, and, so, um, and as well with more of, you know, the acts on the list. But, uh, yeah, that's the half of that, I guess. Yeah, that's dope, man, because... You know, I know pretty much majority of all the artists is here and stuff. And I just love our movement, man. I love what we're doing. You know, just mm. with this, you know, um, I would say this unity. Because it's going to take okay. unity. I, 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 it's gonna... Yeah, okay, true. Facts. I, can I say this? It's Jake. I'm cutting you off, but I'm not trying to cut you off, but I'm cutting you off to say that because you said <laughs> unity. Yeah, you're good. Yeah. Even with even 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 with what you're doing, even with what I'm doing. Like very early on, I was getting people because I'm okay. I use 
this blue app for entertainment purposes only. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. If you personally want to get to me, you know how to personally get to me. You know, that's what if that's if that's what you're called to be with me. Anything on that blue app? Because a long time ago, when we first joined Facebook, I don't know how when you joined Facebook, when we first joined Facebook, it had a family-ish type of feel. It had that thing. But for a long time, mm -hmm. it's been a business. So how I see it, I'm running it as a business. You know, that's why I charge for promotion within what I do because it's a business. If I'm able to say, hey, we can do this, we can do that, and we can help grow your your audience, we can help grow your platform, why not make, you know, money from it? You see what I'm saying? Now, some people have a more personal uh, feel within it because of the history we have or the rapport that we have. But no, I want this blue app is business, you know, and I carry things as such. Uh, but they were unity. I remember I reached out to one particular uh media outlet within Saginaw and I was like man as I have this idea of all the media platforms that do like the hip-hop you know media we all sit and we say okay let's come up with a system and the system is going to consist of um artist rollout so when an artist is about to prepare to drop new music he can go to each media outlet and do interviews just imagine if uh, one particular artist was on your show uh, on one of my shows on um, different media outlets who have platforms where they do artists interview and stuff that appeal uh, or that traffic of interviews or content would be driven up naturally because it's so many people um, watching these different things the same person is going to get people that down why this person on everything let me go check out his music or check out her music let me go check out her video let me go check out his video <laughs> and that but that that word and unity word is foreign because of in my opinion we don't know how to reach our hands out and bring each other up compared to saying hey it's a rat right race i'm about to get there i can give a fuck about or excuse me if i can't cuss or not i can give a i can care less oh, about uh yeah i can care less about you elevating i'm i'm trying to get there you know and that's the problem that not only here in Saginaw or in Saginaw is that a problem. That's a problem within our community, period. You know, and it's it is it's, it's the quote unquote crab in a burrow mentality, you know, and it's 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 heightened in Saginaw because of the you don't see too many people quote unquote make it, you know, or make it and reach back and bring somebody else up since they're making it, you know, since they're making it. You know, but you're seeing more of it now um, happening. But culturally, you know, it wasn't that many people we've seen on a high platform. You know, I think uh, I always say uh, Draymond or Dede, um, he he took everything to the next level. You know, he took everything into a, a greater scale because um, you see him intertwining with one of the, the bigger known um, celeb or player or uh, or influencer rather, and if you have the eye of one of the biggest influencers, you're doing something correctly because they're 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 networking with you, they're working with you because they see that your influence have an effect on a certain demographic. So I say that seeing uh, what uh, Betty has done. You know, it shows that it can really truly be done. It can show that somebody can make it from um, where we sit, where we learn, where we spend time with each other. And uh, and we can keep continue to pull each other up to we're all at a at a great level where we're making not only ourselves but our whole community uh a better place. Yeah. Yeah, he has definitely raised the bar, man. And and that's the thing, um, a lot of bars is it being raised nowadays. And and I always tell people this, I always tell anyone who has a goal, who has a dream, or just wanna just do something. It's not impossible. And sometimes you just gotta do it. Mm -hmm. And and then you learn yeah. along the way, you know? Cause it's just this thing yeah. with- There you so, go, yeah, nobody has, I'm sorry for cutting you off. Oh, you good, I man. Apologize but, for cutting you off. Man, thanks, man. It's all good, man. But no, what what I was saying, 
you know, I was talking to a, a buddy of mine and he wants to go into business for himself. And, you know, he pretty much, you know, was just asking me for advice on that and what he should do and everything. I told him like, hey man, you just gotta do it. Cause if you don't, you gonna regret it. Cause that thing with, with doubt, you know, doubt isn't facts. Doubt is something that we create because it's human, you know, it's a human trait, we're human. You know, the what ifs and what if I'm not and this and that, but you gotta just do it. You just never know what can happen along the way. And you just have to just go and follow your heart. And I always suggest for people to follow their heart because it feels good, man, to create something in your head first and then you see it play out in front of your eyes. And you're seeing people, you know, mentioning your brand, mentioning what you do, you know, giving you, you know, good positive feedback. And like I said, I just trying to, you know, reach everybody if, if I can, but if not, that's cool. Cause I'm not for everybody and that's cool. You know what I'm saying? But the ones you are for, they are going to um, take what you give out and apply it to their advantage. So yeah, like I said, um, it's all good. Yeah, it's that it's that thing about dreams, uh, manifestations, those things that you know you have to write out the things that you want to do, and if you truly believe in the things that you want to do, you got to just walk it out. You have to live it out. Um, yeah, that's that. I think everybody um, sole purpose out here is to live. Like I said um, earlier, is to live out there their purpose their particular purpose or you know their dreams and especially when you want to do entrepreneurship or be more self-efficient be more self-dependent um it's a lot that that goes in that it's a lot of um within that a lot of details it's a lot of things people have to really get to know themselves they have to understand who they are you know they have to understand their self you know because uh it's called you know self entrepreneurship and it, it that's mm -hmm. a lot you know that's that it, that's a lot but if you're willing to take part in it it's a great experience it's an incredible experience yeah and i wanted to ask you so do you think it's a difference between gifted and talented of course you know um mm -hmm. some people can have talent but they might not just have that gift they can work their butt off to 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 learn how to sing but you know some people know how to sing you know that's a gift you know <laughs> in in my opinion you know some people know how to play basketball but somebody some people are truly gifted within basketball that's why you have different levels or different tiers within, you know, basketball. Yeah. And like I said, man, I just try to, you know, give people just the opportunity of, you know, just coming on my platform and just, you know, speaking from the heart, you know, and I just don't try to be, you know, politically correct. You know, this is, you know, what you say will be held against you and all this other stuff. No, you know, I just love to, you know, learn, you know, even me as the interviewer, I just sit back and learn and then I pick up, you know, because success, you know, comes from, you know, being humble and then just not being able to, you know, have that mindset like, oh, I can't, you know, pick up or I can't learn, but we all can learn from each other. And like I said, it's, it's just vice versa, man. And, and I just couldn't wait to bring you on here, you know, and right. just to see what, you, what you're doing, what that you're still doing it and stuff. You know, I'm really, you know, grateful, man. And, and that's the thing with, with, with us when I said that we are on our own because we don't really get our flowers until we until we dead. You know, sometimes it's, you know, we get 
the ones that, you know, be, you know, tell us, oh, you're doing a good job and this and that. It might give us like a, I would say one or two, but we don't get the whole bouquet. So. <laughs> see, now, see, here we go. I got to, you know, I do this thing where I got to have a retort for it. Um, <laughs> it, 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 it probably ain't for us to have flowers, though. Our flowers, you know, in my opinion, our flowers should be the seeds that we inspire into the next youth and watching them be our flowers, watching them growing to be the, the quote unquote flowers, you know. Um, we should always look for recognition for things that we're supposed to be doing anyhow, you know. So I have I think that, you know, give the person the flowers has become the trend, the thing to do or things to say, give the people the flowers where they can smell them, like, nah. My flowers is being able to wake up and do what it is I want to do and be able to encourage someone every day. That's my flower. And I watch that um, bloom and blossom um, daily. And I'm thankful that I'm still chosen to do so. You know, that's my flower. That's my uh, flower moment. And I've, I'm appreciative of that. I don't quote unquote need the recognition. You know, I need the, I need the longevity. I need to. I I want the. I want to be here doing this uh, within the next um, 50, 60 years. You know, consistently and healthy while doing so. But yeah, I don't give a care less about the flowers given. You know, in that in that regard. Yeah, I feel you. And also, man, um, before we wrap this up, bro, is. You know, what do you want to be remembered for? Inspiring someone to be great daily. Inspiring someone else to do what they want to do. Inspiring, uh, like I said, inspiring to you. You know, showing that, that your pigmentation um, can do whatever it is you want to do. You know, we we were we would brainwash, we would lie to, we start to believe things that, you know, was told that was to keep us back and we or we start we begin to overcome and we're overcoming daily you know and the next generations of the next few generations going to be even in the greater spots because of um the understanding that's left for them to understand that they can do whatever it is they choose to do you know yeah i respect that and pretty much same here, man. I just want people to to think. You know, think mm -hmm. for yourself. Don't be afraid to speak your mind, but also be willing to take whatever consequences because everybody isn't going to like you taking a stand and, and, and taking a bow, you know, for yourself. And... And I just, you know, want everybody to just to do what they want to do, you know, because having a career is, is fine and dandy and all that good stuff. But it also can be, a, you know, it's just what you make out of it is either the American dream or the American horror story. So. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, man. I'll say this quickly uh, before, you know, we wrap up. Um, y'all can follow me mm -hmm. on Snapchat. Uh, I, uh, I exclusive said that's I X C L U S I V E C E D. Um, that's where I do most of my posting. You know, I use Snapchat as like kind of my central space. Um, then I bring it over to Facebook, and then I I've recently began to migrate over to um, Instagram and YouTube just a little bit. But yeah, follow me on Snapchat if you ain't following me already. Um, if you have to subscribe to the View Me TV uh, channel within Facebook, please do so. Um, also, well, I really don't too much care about my personal page so much, so you really got to tap into that if you don't want to. But if you do, it said I exclusive. Um, I exclusive said really everywhere. And uh, like I said, I do appreciate you for inviting me. And having me on your platform and i look forward to um working with you in the near future man i know you know i have uh my new podcast um what's up talk to me which, uh was rolled out last thursday and i have another episode coming tomorrow um 
it's a it's it's similar to what it is that you do you know it's understanding and growing with people and having conversations with people so um yeah and like i said look forward to have you over there and um yeah link up with me network you know talk you know reach out you know see where things go okay bro and, uh, no yeah no problem oh, real Anytime, quick real man. quick uh tonight tonight um i'm wearing uh i see it you know loyalty means something uh or my brother uh Jane Brooks um uh, who was incarcerated. Um y'all can tap in with Lamarcus. Um I send his information over to Will so he can post it however he post it. But I can tap in with Lamarcus um here on Facebook to uh get your Louis to me and something um merch, you know. And uh yeah, yeah. Thank you for having me, man. I trust that you have a great night and uh, I'm gonna party here. Oh, you too, man. Hey, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna um keep you posted on when I'm coming on your platform, man. Okay. All right. I I, I will. All right. The door is open, and we just gotta get the details figured out. But yeah, sure. <laughs> All right, bro, man. You take care, dog. All right. Appreciate it. All right. Peace.